You're going to love this. Case of guitars. So, I finally called the guys and I ordered myself a custom Kiesel guitar. In this video, I'm going to play the actual call with Kiesel so you can see the process for yourselves. I'm going to show you on the online build of the guitar I put together and I'm going to tell you the really bad news that Mr. Flock gave me at the end of the call. So, for a little bit of context, let's have a look at the custom guitar that I put together on the online builder. Now, the body shape that first grabbed my attention was the Osiris. Those body contours are absolutely to die for, but it doesn't come in a through neck, and I always prefer a through neck. So, my option was to go for, and I really like this one as well, the Veda. So this is the Veda. This is the basic model. I changed the body wood to mahogany, like that. My neck, I ended up going for a five-piece neck because they had these five-piece necks on sale and I got an absolute bargain of a walnut and a maple neck for, for a lot less than, than standard. So I've got that neck. Um, I went for uh, the thinner neck profile. I went for a 20 inch radius. I went for jumbo frets in stainless steel. The bigger the better. Then as a little treat for myself, because I thought it would look cool. The idea was get a, a, a guitar that's going to look cool. Now I always wear black if I'm gigging and well, you know, most of my clothes are black because if it's clean, it matches. So. I thought it'd be great and cool to get a guitar that looked good with black clothes. How vain is that? I'll tell you why. I did this gig and I had a black and white Explorer and I saw it in the lights and from a distance and photographed well. I thought, you know what? That looks cool. I'll go with that. So I'm going to order a white guitar. So we're going to go for body options. Let's have a look. Finish and uh, solid colors, and I went with white, white. Really white. And to make it look extra cool, and to give that neck some balance, I went for blocks, massive blocks. The bridge I went for was the tremolo. Gotta have a trem, gotta have a whammy bar on something like this. And the only other tweak I made, really, was the pickups. I wanted white, pickup covers, so pickup colour, bobbin colours, we've gone for white. That effectively is my guitar. There's the back of it, there's the front of it, and you know what, I think that's a beauty. I did make a couple of mistakes when I ordered it, um, but we'll come to that in a second. Now I'm guessing this is the bit you've really been waiting for, the actual phone call. Here we go. Okay, so guitar is Flock speaking. Hello, man. Um, I'd like to buy a guitar, please. Are we doing an in-stock or a custom? Uh, a custom, please. Okay, cool. All right. And have you been playing around with the builder and getting it like pretty close to where you like it? Have I been playing with the builder? Constantly, incessantly, a non-stop for a long, long time. Probably like everybody that's watching this video. <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you have it where you like it, I would click um, Export Specs, just so I can see where you're at so far. Um, I can help review it with you and we'll go over questions, you know? At that point, there was quite a bit of bumbling about on my behalf, because I couldn't quite figure out how to do what he was asking me to do. So in order to not look like a bumbling idiot, I've cut that bit out. So just click Export Specs. Oh, uh, Export Specs. If you save that, okay. Yeah, if you save that as a PDF, you can just email that to me direct, you know? When you do this, be prepared, go down to here on the builder, save the specs, export it, and have that PDF ready so you can just email it straight to them. Okay, I'm back. So you're right? Yeah, yeah, I am. And I've just noticed I've, I've made a little mistake on that as well. Um, I didn't put that's, the thin neck profile. That's what we're here to talk about. It, oh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, I'll, I'll be finalizing the order anyways and bring you back a copy so you can see the changes, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm looking at it. Okay, cool. Yeah, you got a lot of the sales stuff. So pretty <laughs> simple build. I like it. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to? What, what did you want to change? 
Right, I've changed the I've changed the neck pro profile to the thinner profile. Yeah, that's another reason to get that specific neck. So, so we're doing that neck, and we're doing the thinner neck profile for free for the sale. Yeah. Can, you, can I just ask you about the neck profile a little bit? Now, here's my big question, and it does worry me a little bit about these guitars because it's a little bit of an unknown. I've only ever played one Kiesel, and it was a Holdsworth, and it had the extra fat neck. And you know what? It felt like a cricket bat. It was enormous. But I did have a little bit of a question. Um, I've been playing Ibanez for years, and I'm used to that slightly flatter back, and I've got one Ibanez that's not that's got a little bit less shoulder on it. How does it compare feel wise to that? Yeah, it's a slim. It'll be a slim C, like a slim slim C with our center. We can't do a U shape like the Ibanez because right. we use high modulus carbon. Our necks are just flat out better. I'll be honest, but because of that, you can only go so thin on the back. Right. Okay. So the thinner neck you get on this one will be the thinnest that we can do. And again, it's like a slim C. It does flatten out a little bit, you know. Right. Um, yeah. I was about to tell me a little story, and this really, really put my mind at ease. Okay. I like it. I just had an appointment yesterday in oh. the showroom, a guy that flew in, and then he already was going from a wizard and then to our thinner neck, and he really enjoyed it last night, so he ordered that. Right. Okay. 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 All right. And then we got it in white, white. Now, here's something I'm guessing a lot of people ask about because it's it's not something you can actually have any kind of idea about without trying the guitars first. And obviously, you can't really do that, can you? And then did you want to talk about the pickups or you go with the stock lithiums? I did, well, I did want to talk about the pickups. Um, um, I'm not really sure what to get. Um, I'm, I'm tell a, me what you want to be playing primarily on this. Um, I do a, you know what, I play a lot of different stuff, uh, I play lots of different bands, um, I play a lot of function stuff, I play a lot of rock stuff as well, um, at the minute I'm using the, a, like a path in the neck and a slightly hotter path in, or JB style thing in the bridge. Oh good, okay, I got a set for you then. What's that? It would be the beryllium in the neck with the illusionist in the bridge. Is it, I, I, uh, that's like that's like our modern PAF for the neck, and then the illusionist is a almost perfect balance um, on frequency spectrum for the bridge. So the lows, mids, and highs are balanced. And it's a little hotter. It's a, a little bit hotter or a lot hotter. No, a little bit hotter. The Just, lot hotter is going to be our thorium. That's like a twenty k. Right. Oh God, no, no, that's no. far too hot. Uh, so you but the beryllium and the illusionist are, are built off the same platform, so they work really nicely together in the middle position as well. Compared to a JB, how would you say it? Which one's closer? Uh, the illusionist would remind you of a JB with a little more grit. Right. Oh. Um, but the beryllium stock already would r remind you uh, of a JB. So you could just do two, a, a set of beryllium's as well if you don't want them as, as bitey. Yeah, if, if the illusion is going to give me a little bit more bite and a little bit more crispness, then, then we'll go for that. Oh, it definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is, yeah. Okay. It, it will. Yeah, I have it in both my Vaders. Right. My, my six and my eight. Mm -hmm. And it balances nicely, does it, yeah? Oh, my God. Yeah, are you kidding me? Yeah, the number the, because the, the middle position is the inside coil of each humbucker now. Oh, that was going to be my next question. What's, what's the switching on them? So you, you've got, yeah, what, well, bridge, then bridge single, then two singles, then neck single, and then neck? Is it? Are you doing it like that? Yeah. They, yeah ah, perfect. You that's, got it. that's what yeah. I was going to ask you to do, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. great. I think everything else is looking good. It's a good, clean build. Yeah, I like where it's at. I think it's going to be great. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that then. Perfect. Okay. Now, at this point, I thought we were done, but oops. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, I've back. spotted another little error on there. Um, it's just the string what? gauges. Uh, I, I play nines rather than tens. Okay, I'll put nines on the order. I'm going to be spitting you back a copy with the changes anyways. Okay. You know? Okay. And then you just write back, you know, hey, block, I'm good to go. You know, that kind of thing. Right, okay. So, pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now this is the fail safe. You don't just do the order on the phone and you're done and that's it. You never get a chance to change it again. 
you actually get the order done on the phone, then they send you via email your spec sheet and you go through that in your own time with a fine tooth comb and make sure you've got that right and then you pull the trigger and give the go ahead. And I know Kiesel don't allow you to make changes after the order's in, but you do get a lot of time to go through it on your own and make sure that you've got everything absolutely right after the call and then you pull the trigger. All right. So other than that, I can preliminarily take your card info, we'll hang up and then I'll get started for you. And then we were done, but... Now I did promise you I'd tell you the horrific thing that Flock said to me at the end of the call, and it was this. He told me it was gonna take up to 12 weeks to get my guitar. Ah oh, man, 12 weeks feels like forever. And I know for a custom instrument, 12 weeks is, is a really short time, but oh man, I want that guitar today. In fact, I want it yesterday. I'm not overexcited at all. What do you mean? Now, at some point, when the guitar finally arrives, the unboxing and the review will be here. But in the meantime, there'll be another video there. So watch one of them, and I'll see you soon. Perfect. Okay. All right, man. Well, congrats. You're going to love this. Thanks for your time, man. Yeah, of course, man. Cheers. And uh, look out for my PDF. You have to reply to it. So, so keep your alerts on, you know? Mate, you're a legend. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Later. Cheers. Bye-bye.